Families are getting ready to switch into back to school mode any day now, and so are the school leaders who are responsible for children's safety. And security is top of mind, especially after the tragedy in Uvalde. Cypher ISD held a committee today to discuss safety measures. KPRC 2's Taisha Walker live tonight with that story. Taisha. The committee went over their safety and uh, security measures, which have been in place for years well ahead of the Uvalde massacre, just to discuss if there's any room for improvement before students return on August 22nd. We're way ahead of, I, I would say, any other school district in the state of Texas. Now, does that mean we're perfect? No. The Cypress Fairbanks Independent School District Safety and Security Committee held its summer meeting at the Berry Center earlier. The committee, which comprises of the superintendent, fire marshal, and district police chief, is required by the state to discuss whether their safety and security measures warrant changes ahead of the upcoming school year. We don't want to be complacent in what we do. We always want to look for ways to enhance. The minute we say we're, we're prepared, something's going to happen because we've become complacent. So every year we're always looking at what we can do to change. Cypher already requires all students to have an identification badge and 6th through 12th graders to use clear backpacks. Campuses are equipped with metal detectors and security vestibules with bullet resistant glass and outdoor fencing among other layers of security. One of the issues that they had in Uvalde is the timely notification of uh, lockdown. Their alert system didn't work. Cypher ISD Police Chief Eric Mendez says teachers can place emergency calls directly from their classrooms and can even initiate campus-wide lockdowns, which is immediately routed to his department. He says they're also installing audible and visual exterior door prop alarms. At the exterior prop alarms, we uh, we have been putting those in across the campuses uh, this summer. We've already rolled out the high schools. The committee's next meeting is scheduled for August 30th. Reporting live, Taisha Walker, KPRC 2 News. Taisha, thank you.